Rishabh and I am a mechanical engineering fourth year B.Tech student from IIT Delhi and I am placed in Wipro Lighting and Consumer Care. So over the years I worked on the robotics aspect and uh, various uh, vertical access wind turbine projects. So I would like to share my experience, placement experience with you all. Uh, first of all, the process started by giving us a form. So we had to fill a form a day before, uh, talking about our abilities, our strengths, our weaknesses, and how we fit into the company itself and how we see our future in the company itself. Uh, so first of all, after filling the form, 20 students were shortlisted based on our CV. Uh, so CV and our grade were uh, based on our CV and grade, we were shortlisted. And uh, the interview started with a panel of three. Uh, one of which were uh, from our own college. So the interviewer first of all started with our CV. Uh, he talked about the points that we placed in our CV and uh, mostly on our projects that we did in that. Uh, so I did some projects on uh, vertical access wind turbines and robotics. So they started talking uh, about those aspects and they had some technical questions on that. And after giving the successful answers of them, they moved on to the form that I've given. So talking about our abilities, they judged ourselves that how we fit into our company and they uh, uh, talked us regarding how we can perform better or what we would like to change or what we would like to know about the company itself. Uh, so the first interview was pretty much small and uh, after that six students were shortlisted for the second interview in which the CEO of uh, Wipro Lighting and Consumer Care were was sitting and he started asking uh, us questions with the fundamentals of mechanical engineering. Uh, so first of all, he asked us like questions like uh, how uh, welding takes place or what the Wipro lighting actually does or have you ever seen some plants in which the, uh, uh, this uh, manufacturing takes place. So after all those sessions, the interview moved on to my internship. So I did an internship in Pune, uh, in Kuka Robotics. So they started asking me the questions regarding those companies, that how that company functions and how actually uh, the robots are important in a manufacturing place. Uh, so after moving that, he, uh, he gave me an assignment on creating the complete layout of the uh, factory in like 10 minutes, uh, the company, complete robotic layout of the factory in 10 minutes. So after some deep thoughts and uh, understanding and conversation with the CEO itself, we were, uh, I was able to give the answer on the plant and he was pretty much happy with that. So after that, the company took uh, two students, company shortlisted two students and uh, gave us our locations that where we have to function and uh, operate. I would like to suggest for the placement period that be truthful to yourself first of all. Uh, write your CV in the manner that the things you have done uh, don't exaggerate thing because the interview would be carry forwarded by you itself uh, in the direction as you want. So uh, once you have written everything truly in, our, in your CV, then uh, it would be pretty much easy for you to uh, say everything in the interview and uh, nothing would like try to discourage you from your path. And second of all, be confident in the interview because you are going to guide those people in your interview. They are not going to guide you. I would like to thank Placement Board for giving me this opportunity of sharing my ideas and uh, views and my experiences in the uh, placement season and uh, all the best to you all for your preparation.